Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Fred. Go back to the channel. Welcome back to another Dual Links video. Today, we have a gift in our gift box. Daily gem delivery. Looks like we're going to be getting daily gems. 50 gems every day isn't too bad. Let's see what uh, this two in our missions thing is. Oh, login total, two days lifetime mission. Some more daily gems. Not too bad. What we're going to do today is we're going to go to the shop and we're going to buy a ton of booster packs. I don't know how many we're actually going to be able to get. So let's have a look. We can buy 30 packs, it looks like. Um, thankfully there, as you can see, I'm using my UK account. The game's out in UK, I'm using my UK account. Um, but you can see the prices there, and it's quite expensive for booster packs. So let's open 10 and see what we get. So in our first pack, Griffin's Feather Duster, Skelengle, and Line of the Light Charm. I, I don't ever remember that being a card, but I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Now uh, that's the Snake Hair, decent 1500 point monster. That's okay. Card Rotator and Wind the Wind Charmer. I said this in my uh, in my beta videos. It seems like this game really wants you to uh, build like uh, themed decks. Neutron Z, Bickery Box. We would be pretty decent if we had. Um, Instant fusion. Oh, okay, I forgot I was using Joey. So that's kind of weird. The spell absorbing life, Skull Guardian, and Sonic Bird, our first ultra rare. Uh, so, with this first pack, the Ultimate Rising, I think you can get Pir uh, Crab Turtle and that Skull Guardian, and they'll both be some pretty cool uh, decks you can run with that. Ascending Soul, more sport rituals, White Elephant's Gift, it's not bad, and Order to Chase Super Rare. Okay. So that's a. Uh, it's like a tribute to the doomed. And our next pack we get Bladefly, Rod of the Mind's Eye, and Crab Turtle. Just start speaking of him. And Bite Shoes, Ritual Cage, and Ready for Intercepting. That's not too bad, considering a lot of the decks you probably come across online, especially in the early game, will involve uh, Element Soldier and Element Magician. Uh, Parasitic Sticky Ticky, Guardian Bow, and Muka Muka. Muka Muka is really good. Not too good in this game because uh, of the hand limit. So there's only, there's only a, a very small maximum attack that he can have, um, which isn't that good. Hourglass of Courage, Snake Fang, and the Hunt with Seven Weapons. God, I remember this card from when I was a kid. This card is almost summoned to claim to a monster. When battling that type of monster, increase the attack of this card by 1000 points during damage calculation. That's not too bad, actually. Um, again, as I said, if you're going online, just use Warrior or Fiend or something and you'll be fine. Contact with Aquamira and Crass Clown. So that was 10 packs. Um, that really wasn't too bad. As you can see, we got a ton of new cards there. Uh, let's go back and let's go and open an additional uh, 10 booster packs. So we're literally going to be able to do like a, a whole TCG style booster box. It's like a Japanese style booster box with 30 packs. A hidden spellbook and crab turtle once again. It'd be nice to pull an ultimate dragon. Um, but then again, I'm not using Kaiba right now. Muka Muka again. So it's going to be a while before I end up getting three Bloodsport Dragons. I've got one thanks to that login bonus. But it shouldn't take me too long to work up, work our way up to Kaiba. Tornado, that's okay. Uh, not too useful because not many people run spell and traps. Like This game actually encourages you to run... Well, like 15 monsters and then 5 spell and traps, so it's not too useful. Meteor Rain, Line of the Light Charm, and Magic Jammer! Awesome, awesome, awesome ultra rare to get from this booster set. Very useful card. Storming Wind, Guardian Trice, and Dream Clown. Eh, not too great of a pack there. Right, we're gonna get a super rare in this one, maybe. Guardian Trice, the Snake Hair, and Axe Raider, yes! <laughs> what a good normal monster to pull. 700 points is gonna um, mo it's gonna go over quite a few of the, of the monsters you're gonna be facing uh, in this early stage of the game. So let's see what else we can get. Griffin's Feather Duster, Nutrient Z and Area of the Water Charmer. Uh, Element Doom, nice. Shadow Ghoul and Mask of Dispel. Really want to get some more um, Element Warriors. Faith Bird, really good to use with Element Magician. Uh, Heat of the Fire Charmer, I said this before in um, the beta video, but I love this artwork. I think it's one of my favorite card artworks in the game. And Dark the Dark Charmer. Just 
Actually, wait a second, I need to go back and look at Doc quickly, where is it? Despite the fact I know that's female, it kind of reminds me of uh, Kirito from Soul Art Online. I've only just realised that now. It's pretty funny. Now, onto our last 10 packs of this video. We've got Kariba here. Let's see, Ascending Soul, Samsara, and Backup Soldier. Backup Soldiers, not too bad actually, uh, especially for this game. Uh, Samsara again, Element Soldier, that's good, and Fulfillment of the Contract is going to let us uh, get our Ritual Monsters back. Uh, Turtle Oath, going to let us summon our Crab Turtle, uh, Enchanted Javelin, and Twin Swords of Flashing Light Trice. What have we got next? Restructure Revolution, I love this card. Uh, Area of the Water Charm, and Vylon Ohm. It's a pretty, again, a pretty good 1500 point monster there. So let's go to our next pack. Contact with the Aqua Mirror, Guardian Bow, and Crass Clown. I kind of wish you could open all of them at once. Like, in, if you remember the Tag Force games, they had an option where you could buy an entire booster box and just open all the cards at once. And that's pretty useful. But then again, it doesn't make for that good of a video. Bite Shoes, Conscription, and Wonder Balloon. Super rare. This card was actually really good in the beta, so um, once per turn you can set any number of cards you have to graveyard place one balloon counter on this card. Almost your opponent controls lose 200 attack for each balloon counter on this card. If you can keep that up on the field and you just send four cards, all your monsters, all your opponent's monsters lose 1200 points of damage, which is crazy. Uh, Enchanted Javelin, the Snake Hair and Crass Clown yet again, getting a ton of duplicates now. Let's see what we can pull. Snake Fang, Alglass of Courage and Bickery Box. Teasing us with that fusion there. A spell absorbing life, ritual cage, and staunch defender. And there we go, that is all of the cards. All of the packs opened for today's video. Uh, in the next video we're gonna be doing, uh, I will be building a deck and I'll be going online for the very first time using that deck, and that'll be my first start of the Legacy of not Legacy, it's not even Legacy Duel, it's Duel Links. Duel Links on my multiplayer jewels. So hopefully I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more pack openings, then uh, feel free to leave a like and a comment. It really helps me out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.